Hey guys, this is Gerard from the Techno Jedi's, and today I'm going to show you Google Apps Script. And um, to get you started, I, it'd be best to go through to this Rescue Time blog. I'll post the link in the bottom of the video. Um, what they've um, uploaded here is basically a script which will put a label on any starred males that are older than 14 days. Um, the label will be deal with me so it's really easy you can just follow the steps that they've outlined in here um, and that is basically copy and paste their code go to script.google.com you'll you'll see a little window like this we're just gonna close this window um, and we're gonna paste their code there and we're gonna give it a name so when we save this, uh, first we're going to have to save the project. We'll probably just give the project a name such as Gmail scripts. Great. Okay, so we've created our project Gmail scripts. And it should be saved now. So what we'd like to do is quickly test it. And this is all, this is all in the blog post. So I'm, nothing, I'm not showing you anything new yet. We're going to test this by selecting the add nagging labels function and press play it's busy running that script okay so yes we would like this to run and uh, we're just gonna have verify that we'd like it to run so yes great uh, we might just have to run it one more time now after accepting the permissions and if all's gone well should have run, which it doesn't seem to have gone well. <laughs> Let's play this again. It's running running the function. Okay, the, as you can see, it's added the label. One more step we'd like to probably go to is just give this label an, a nice potent color so you'll notice it. Great. So now Basically, all items older than 14 days that are starred will have this label, which is quite nice because I, I know for myself and a lot of other Gmail users, we tend to star all the important mails, and this can just get really loaded after a while, and you've got tons of starred mails, and you don't even know what's important. So at least you know, like, if it's older than 14 days, you should have resolved the issue by now, or it should become a very high priority. So... Once again, if, we, if we've resolved this issue, we just unstar it and it'll actually remove that label now. So that was all fairly simple. Uh, what I'd like to show you next is how to create your own and how simple it is. So we're going to take, take their current code, we're just going to copy it, we're going to create a new script. Uh, let's call this add labels to inbox mails older than 14 days okay you could give it a shorter name <laughs> okay so we're just going to paste the script there um, and as you can see if you read through here it's actually quite readable and what I've done is in sublime I, I'll give you guys this code as well. I've really just changed some of the labeling and changed the search function because that's really all it's doing is it's searching for mails in your inbox and you're just telling it to do this on a consistent basis. Um, so what I've done is I've written a script to look through my inbox, find any mails older than 14 days, you can see through here, and then label them with the label move me. Um, I'm just going to save this now. Okay, that's saved. We're going to select the function. Oh, sorry. We have to copy and paste this. Paste the new functions. Save it. Whoops. It's quite nice. As you can see, it's actually telling you if you've got any mistakes in your code straight away. Great, we've saved it. We're just gonna run this now. So as before, find the function. We press play. 
I think we might have to give it permissions. Possibly not. Okay. So it's created the label, move me, and there these are all mails in my inbox which are later which are older than 14 days. That's definitely against the inbox zero methodology. So we want to get these emails out of our inbox. So we'd like to go through these mails almost individually and move them to a specific folder or just archive them. So as you can see here, all these mails older than 14 days. And very quickly we can see these need to be moved and these mails need to be dealt with. The next thing we want to do is we don't want to have to come to Google Scripts every day to like run these functions. What we want to do is time them to go off periodically. So the way that we do that is by Um, what we're going to do is we want to run a trigger. So the triggers are. Wow. Sorry, guys. Just looking for those triggers again. Find and replace. Okay, so. Oh, resources. Current projects triggers. All triggers. So we're just going to go current projects triggers. And there's no triggers set up since we're just starting. And first of all, we're going to add the nagging labels to our start, start mails, which are older than 14 days. We'd like them to be time driven. We could do them every hour. Perfect. And we just save that. Um, what I didn't show you was the removing nagging labels, which is really just once you've unstarted an item, you take that nagging label away, so the, um, the, the label that stays deal with me. So we're going to set up a trigger for that as well. And that's remove nagging labels. Same triggers as before. We'd also like to add the trigger for the inbox. So any mails older than 14 days. And remove that label if it's been dealt with. And this will happen, this trigger will go off every hour. Great. So now we can forget about it and our inbox, we can get one step closer to inbox zero. Um, to, once you get a little bit more advanced, there's, there's actually a function here called email snooze, which I'll also put the link below the video. Um, what this does is it allows you to snooze mails for a day, a week, a specific time, and what will happen is the mail will actually, it'll sort of be archived to you and then it will reappear at the top of your inbox um, at a predetermined date that you've set. Um, yes, and I challenge you to basically copy and paste their, their code here into your Gmail scripts the same way that we did with the easier example and then go through here and see if you can change it. Thanks for listening guys. I um, hope you've learned a lot and if you have any questions you can post them below.